Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we have a Norman window has the shape of a rectangle surmounted by a semicircle, demonstrated by this diagram here. We're asked if the perimeter of the window is 30 feet, express the area A of the window as a function of the width X of the window. So to do this, we're gonna take the perimeter and say, how do we find this side by side? So the perimeter, which is 30, this is equal to what? We have this side, the width, x. We have this side of the rectangular part before it becomes a circle. This side we can just call L, plus the perimeter of the circle. We have a circle here with the center here, and this is the radius. There's also a radius in this direction, so two times the radius is equal to x, therefore the radius is equal to x over 2. So the circumference of this circle, the perimeter of it, is equal to pi times di the diameter, which is equal to twice the radius, which is equal to x. So pi times x However, we only have half of the circle that's exposed. The other half is within the circle, or is within the window, so it's not part of the um, circumference, not part of the perimeter. So only half the circle contributes to our perimeter, so therefore we have to divide by two. And then finally, we have another L, the same length down the other side. How is this gonna help us get the area? Well, we can find the area as is in terms of x and l, but we only want it in terms of x. So we have to solve for l in this equation. So 30 is equal to l plus l, 2l plus x plus pi times x over 2. Then we subtract x and we subtract pi times x over 2 from both sides. These cancel. We're off with 2 times l is equal to 30 minus x minus pi times x over two. Dividing for L, these cancel. The length L is equal to, 30 divided by two is 15, x over two, there's no way to simplify. And then pi x over two divided by two again is minus pi x over four. So now we have this length in terms of the width x. So now we can use the area equation, which we have. The area is equal to the area of this rectangle, which is the length times the width, L times X, plus one half of the area of this circle. What is the area of the circle? Pi R squared, pi times the radius squared. So pi times the radius X over two squared. Make sure not to square the pi. This can be turned into L is 15 minus x over 2 minus pi x over 4 plus pi times 1 half times 1 half squared, which is 1 half times 1 fourth, is 1 eighth x squared. And sure, this should be times x. So this is equal to... 15 times x, and if it's unclear why I'm multiplying by x, because I forgot it in writing it down, this is L, so this is L times x is this thing right here. So now we're distributing 15 times x minus 15, or sorry, minus x times x over 2 is x squared over 2, minus pi x times x is x squared over 4 plus pi times 1 eighth is pi over eighth, x squared. And one little thing at the end that we can do here is combine these two. So 15x minus x squared over two stays the same. We have one negative 1 fourth pi plus 1 eighth pi with an x squared attached becomes negative 1 eighth pi. So minus pi over eight x squared. And this is the area of this particular window in terms of x, the width.